Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a brand new video, a brand new FIFA 19 video and as you will see by the thumbnail and by the title, I'm going somewhere closer to my heart again, we're going, we're doing, I needed to do an Aston Villa series on something this season, obviously I did the Football Manager season last uh, series last year and that went well, um, so I, th I say we do it on FIFA, why not, it's a career mode um, and yeah, I'm, let's, let's do this, why not? It should be good fun. Villa are a very, very good squad on this game. Villa have got a very, very good squad in real life. Probably should be doing better than they are. But hey, the season's gone how it's gone and we're in the playoffs at the moment. So let's see how that goes anyway. Um, but let's just take a look at the, at the squad quickly. I will say I've not turned um, the first transfer window on. So I've made no signings. No other teams will have made signings either. So this is the teams as they would be right now. January's transfers would have happened because of updates but you will get what I mean and this is a team we're going to go with it's a 4-5-1 I think it's the best team that Villa have got at the moment um, this is the team that actually um, Dean Smith's going with quite a lot lately I'm not really surprised with Kalinic in goal he's injured at the moment in real life but I mean a world class goalkeeper shouldn't even be at Villa really 76 rated on this will improve I'm hoping and a Croatian international world cup winner a world cup runner up even definitely didn't win it did they Definitely didn't win it. Um, but yeah, we've got um, the Scottish Cafu, Alan Hutton at right back, because you, you have to. I mean, did you not s cut to the Blues goal? He's getting back into his rhythm now after a horrendous time he had with injury before he moved out on low. There goes Hutton. Trademark charge forward from Alan Hutton. I wonder if I'll get taken down for that. Tuanzebe is at centre back alongside Mings, and that just yeah, why not? That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? They are the, I mean, Mings is incredible. We do have Chester on the bench. He's a 74. He could come in, but I quite like the pace at the back between those two, and that should work. Courtney Howes, Courtney Howes. I really don't know how to say. You see a lot of different ones. I'm gonna go with House because it just makes sense. Um, but Courtney House on the left. Um, he's a centre back really, but I quite like him at left back, and I'd rather have him than Neil Taylor personally. So that's what we're going to go with. Conor Horan in that deeper position. You do have Glenn Whelan and Berkeby Arnton who can both play there, but Conor Horan's a very good player. He should play there. John McGinn, Jack Grealish are the two in midfield who are going to run the game for us. McGinn's incredible. Personally, as a Villa fan, this may shock some of you. I personally think John McGinn is a better player than Jack Grealish. I'm just putting that out there. Obviously, Grealish is a young English talent and that makes a difference, but John McGinn makes a bigger difference to Villa's on field play than than Grealish does for me. Of course, Grealish's injury coincided with our bad form this year, and he came back, and all of a sudden we started winning again. I'm not saying Grealish isn't important because he is. The two of them together make Villa incredible in midfield, and I'm hoping that's what will happen here. So Grealish and McGinn, uh, Tammy Abraham's your lone striker up front. Tammy, 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 Tammy Abraham scoring the goals. Hopefully, we're going to play Anwar El Ghazi on the left. Actually, I'm going to swap those two. Anwar El Ghazi on the right hand side even um, because. I think he's a really, real big talent. I think we signed him on loan from Ajax, it might be. So he will be on loan in this game. If he does well this season for us, hopefully we'll be able to bring him back. You can say the same for Tammy Abraham, Tyrone Mings, um, Courtney Hulls as well. I think it's Tyrone Mings. It is Tyrone Mings, yes. I keep getting them mixed up. Tyrone Mings and um, Tyrone Mears in my head when he first signed. I don't know why. Um, Andre Green will be on the left. Come back from Portsmouth on loan in real life. He's done really well. I want to give him a go and see how it goes. But we do have Albert Adoma there on the bench waiting to come in if need be. Um, no other real options. So that's why he's there. Tom Carroll is also there, interestingly. Beck Bjarnason could probably play it there. So could Jack Grealish. So there are options. But this is a team. We start against Hull City. I'm going to play the one game today. It's going to be a shorter first episode. And then we'll sort of get into a rhythm of how things go in. You will notice the microphone. Oh, yes, I fixed it. I ain't using that, that crap anymore. I can't be dealing with it. Cannot be dealing with it. Okay, then, so here we go at the whole City KC Stadium, I believe it was. Am I, am I losing my mind? Uh, Hull Tigers. City fans won't like that, Hull City. This is the side they go with. Eric Lehigh and Liam Ridgewell in the back there, I see there. Ex-Villa boys. That's interesting. Jared Bowen is the main man for them. Although, um, Jackson Irvine's a pretty good player. I think he's signing from Burton Albion. Henriksen and Grisicki are no slouches either. And Fraser Campbell up front. Well, you'll all know about him. But Liam Ridgewell, that's all. That's, I never knew they signed him. That's a bizarre one. You know the Villa team, so we'll get into the game. We have to start well here. And Grealish has done that. 
Jack Grealish winning it in midfield and flying forward. Oh, Jack Grealish. What a run early. Grealish is crossed to the back post. I mean, El Ghazi's got to get there. Can he find a decent ball back in? It's Tammy Abraham on the flick. That would have been some goal. Wow, that would have been some goal. Kind of hauls now to Grealish. And look at the space for McGinn to drive forward into Tammy Abraham. Bit of space for him. He's got to get the shot away early. Good save. Very good save by the goalkeeper. Is that Alan McGregor, I think, in the whole goal? Or am I really, really taking it back for Hull? It's a good strike from Tammy Abraham. We're well behind it there. Good save from the goalkeeper to tip it around the post. It's Grealish's corner. Interesting that Grealish is taking it towards the near post. Headed away well. The fallout from McGinn, who does know how to hit them. John McGinn, I think it was blocked by Tammy Abraham, you know. And actually, that's a great pass from McGinn to release Conor Hurahan. And Hurahan looking wide for Andre Green. First real involvement for Andre Green now. And he's done well to get past his man. Find a cross. Tammy Abraham's head out the near post. Was well saved again by the goalkeeper. Another good save by the Hull goalkeeper. Grealish to whip the corner in. It's towards Abraham. It'll fall for Hurahan. It'll fall for McGinn. Oh, the angle's gone right across. It's, it's, oh, blah, blah, blah. I didn't even know what to say there. Tyrone Mings. Oh, he didn't get there, Mings. He didn't get there. It was a, I probably should have hit it with Hurahan earlier, you know. And now Halls will go on for Andre Green. Green brilliantly to get away. Great cross. Oh, and it's over from Grealish. He tried to deftly flick it with a header. It was a big, big chance. Look at the way he's tried to... It sort of came quick at him and he tried to flick it over. And he's, well, he, fl he flicked it over. He definitely flicked it over. Alan Hutton winning that header there. Half time then at the KC. We're only playing four minutes a half. And we haven't really taken our chances in the first half. We've been the much better side against a, 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 a whole side that have been very hit and miss in real life this season. Jack Grealish making himself available. Finding the cross. Andre Green in there with a grey header and he's hit the crossbar. Oh, very, very close to the opening goal for Andre Green. Really, I, I think that it's his shoulder. Tries to loop it over the goalkeeper and he's so close to doing so. Oh, Jack Grealish has given it away. And he's in here. Grzyki with one of the worst finishes in FIFA history. If, Three minutes to go. A goal from anything will do us. Because I really feel like we can't afford to not win the games when we're on top here. If we want, the, the board want the league title, by the way. Doesn't look like it's going to happen today for a win, that's for sure. We've had many, many chances, particularly in the first half, I would say. And we haven't taken them. Grealish has gone quiet in the second. But that should be that, I think. And it is. It's a draw on the opening day. Hull City's KC Stadium, the King... So, no, it's Leicester. K Hull City Stadium has saw a draw on the opening day. You know what? A draw, I'm not happy with. I'll, let's let's go straight to the next game. Second game. I want to see some goals in the first episode. Here's Callum McManaman, a former West Brom man. And it's well defended by Mings. And there's just not been many chances in this game so far. That's probably why. That's a bad pass from, from McGinn. That's just really poor. Need to be better on the ball. Not playing the, the formation I like on this game, FIFA 19. I do like a 3 5 2 with wing backs. I could probably make it work um, with this this formation. It's usually two up front. We could play Kodja, but then we lose our wingers, really. I mean, we don't have to. Hmm. We'll see what we can play with. Right, half time then. 0 0. Can we get a goal? I'd like a goal at this point. I'd Tammy Abraham needs to get in the game. We might end up changing to a 3-5-2 for the next episode. So I just don't have any attacking threat, it feels like. We'll have a look in the next one. Oh, there's a pass on here for Andre Green. And if he can work it across to Tammy Abraham. Oh, brilliant defending. Andre Green will get there again. No, great low cross. Oh, brilliant defending by Naismith, I think it is. That's really, really good play from Andre Green, though, twice. McGinn's corner. Right towards the penalty spot. And it's nodded in by Tyrone Mings. And Aston Villa finally lead. The captain-elect Tyrone Mings. Rising highest. Powering the ball in. Villa finally lead. Great corner from McGinn, by the way. And that header. No keeper in the world saves that. It's all about a brilliant, brilliant leap here from Tyrone Mings. Well above everyone else. Gets to the ball first. Bang! And in. First goal of the season for Villa is a centre-back. OK. Now Alan Hutton should be able to lead a counter-attack. And it looks behind the line for Andre Green. Great pass from Hutton. Green is so lively today. Andre Green inside onto his left foot. Andre Green! 
Ah, oh, he's young. He's young. Oh, he should have scored that. He really, really should have scored that. Uh, it takes a deflection, to be fair. That's a corner then. Fine. I'll have it. Grealish with it. Really good corner again. Oh, that was a really, really nice corner in. Courtney Hawes. Andre Green. It'll fall for Mings. It won't quite. Tyrone Mings wasn't making the run. There's a pass on from McGinn. Albert Adoma now can make it safe with a good quality cross in here. He's fouled. He's got to be fouled. I'm sorry. I am sorry. But how is that not a penalty kick? That is ridiculous. Oh, dear. Was he now? Nearly loses the ball. Emmy Abraham. McGinn. Oh, McGinn. McGinn. That's, that sums up the performance against Wigan. We've won the game. Against Hull, we played well. We didn't win the game. Against Wigan, we, we haven't played well. We did win the game. Funnies are funny old games. Funnies are funny. Football's a funny old game sometimes. So, yeah. I don't want to make of it, really. But that'll be the end of episode one, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. Any comments, you know the drill. But please, please drop a like. Um, I'd like to see if this is something that you guys want to see more of on the channel, you see. Um, and yeah, first two games, four points. I'll take it. Could be worse. Kind of what is six, but hey-ho. Probably going to change formation for the next one if we bring it out. Um, and until then, make sure you catch the other episodes of other stuff in... Invictus, I can't, I can't do words. Injustice, um, and there may be something a bit old school for this channel coming out soon. So let's let's see what see what happens. Until next time, peace. Out.